Dogecoin. YOLO! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Proto Doge here, and today... Man, I want to talk about the Pokemon weekend, so... I went to Vegas this past weekend, and it was loads of fun. If you're into Pokemon, you would have also loved the events that took place. Um, a lot of people ask me, hey, pro, hey, pro, are you really a Pokemon fan? Or are you just riding the wave? Are you just jumping on the bandwagon at a Pokemon card opening phenomenon that's happening, you know? since uh logan paul came out and all that jazz no i'm actually a big fan of pokemon i played pokemon when i was a kid my very first video game was the red version i started out with charmander you know so not only that but over the years i've collected some pokemon memorabilia i guess you could call it or just items that are pokemon related so for example boom i got some funko pops Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, my personal favorite out of the starters, Charmander, and uh, what else I got? Also recently, McDonald's did a 25 year anniversary of the Pokemon cards and I decided to go to I want to say five or six or seven different McDonald's and got a total of 62 cards so this isn't even all of them and I'm still yet to open them so I might make a video if you guys want to see me opening some Pokemon cards and see if I can get some holographics not to mention only this but shout out to my mom my dear mother she found my binder from when I was 12 13 14 and this is my entire binder pokemon collection she sent it over and um you know obviously i was a kid so i didn't know how to protect my cards better than just this but um yeah i got i got a cool little collection nothing like you know andre or like the other guys have like my stuff is not that cool but look i got a holographic machamp I got Clefable, Jolteon, Scyther. These are all holographics. Blastoise, look. Blastoise, Charizard. Yeah, we looked at this card together, me and Andre, or Andre and I. And uh, it's definitely not a PSA 10 or a 9 or a 8 or a 6 or a 7, probably. It's probably like a 2. A uh, Venusaur, Kangaskhan. He said this is the rarest uh, one out of that pack. I don't even know who this is, to be honest. Uh, Mr. Mime. I got some more holographics on this side. Uh, Muck. Magneton, Electrode, Slowbro, or Slowpoke, I think that's Slowbro, um, Mewtwo, Nidoking, another Magneton, but this is a Japanese version, Japanese Charizard, Articuno, and uh, yeah, that's what I had when I was a kid, man, and um, if I'd have known better, I would have protected them, <laughs> and I would have bought out all the boxes back in the day, um, also, the original season one of Pokemon Indigo League. This is probably my all-time favorite season. Uh, probably the one that I know, like the back of my hand. You know, the other ones were cool, but nothing like the originals. Also have season two. Bam! Adventures in the Orange Islands. This one was cool too. Um, my Pokemon Super Deluxe Essential Handbook. Everyone should have one of these. And not to mention... Uh, random stuff like this like um the pikachu detective pikachu uh only in theaters um i don't, I don't even know <laughs> shout out to cleo cleo gave me this um cleo thomas he he got invited and he was like you want this i was like hell yeah but uh but yeah guys that's um that's my whole pokemon collection i guess for the most part uh and yeah let me show you guys the video before we get uh to the video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit notification bell so you don't miss any more of our future videos and let's get to the weekend like that tiktok guy all right so you walk in there's a big ass pikachu and the stage right there and then there's a big jenga set everybody's playing and you get pokemon theme hot dogs and you keep walking, right? And then over here, they got a Pikachu bed, so you can get your cuddling on with your Poke Girl. And then you keep walking, right? And so, yeah, so that's that. And then on the left is a pool, and it's got a, a, a Snorlax 
floaty thing. And there's a stage. Oh, and we had Gary the Pokemon King on stage talking about cards. And it's funny, his name's Gary. <laughs> uh, Meowth Margaritas on deck. These joints were bomb. I had like two, three, four of them. Sushi Pokeballs. These were also fire. Uh, Charizard Popsicle Sticks. Bomb. Uh, they also had tattoos too. So you know me. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to get my tat, my neck. You know what I'm saying? Tattooed up with the Charizard right there. And then we were shooting a documentary too, so they're turning my mic on right there. That's how they do it. That's, that's how we turn the mic on. And then I got on the Snorlax floaty for one of the scenes in the documentary. And they were kind of just filming me chilling, I guess. I'm in a pool. I'm in a pool. Yo, pro. What's Doge going to? Let's go! <laughs> and then the whole millennial money team was there. Andre, Jick, Jeremy, Meet Kevin, and Graham. And it was pretty cool because this was the first time I met Jeremy. But yeah, it was funny. Yeah, so uh, good times, good food, good people. Yeah, so as you can see, I had a blasty blast. It was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, yeah, uh, today that, that, was, that was pretty much it. But the funnest part of the entire thing was definitely hearing the original Pokemon theme song being sung by the guy who was there singing it. <laughs> That was that was interesting. Also, they had a sushi. That sushi uh, Pokeball was 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 really good too, by the way. But in any case, in celebration of not only this past weekend, but my love for Pokemon, I decided to roll out with some Pokemon inspired merch mixed with Dogecoin, right? So it's like Dogemon or Procomon or Poke Doge or whatever you want to call it. And I have shirts and hoodies on the website and they look a little something like this. This is what the shirts look like. Amazing. I love the design. This is beautifully original hand drawn. She's a dope artist. I'm putting her handle on the lower side of the screen so you guys can go follow her and we have hoodies and we have this right here boom 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 yeah guys fun stuff boom 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 yeah make sure to get the merch at www.thedogecoinmillionaire.com different colors different sizes the link is in the description section so yeah guys i really do appreciate when you guys go grab a shirt grab a hat grab a pin or anything like that it really helps me out and supports the channel also before we get to my portfolio shout out to webull because webull is for the people and if you want to get started in investing or just open up another portfolio for diversification reasons webull is a great platform so i have the link in the description you click on it you deposit a hundred dollars and it will give you up to three hundred dollars worth of stocks you can keep those stocks you can sell those stocks take the three hundred dollars or up to three hundred dollars and take your hundred dollars back you can do whatever you want there's no limitations there okay and um all right now let's get to my portfolio finger guns okay guys so here's my portfolio for today in the past hour we are down 400 i can't even read four thousand four hundred dollars in the past day we are down six thousand five hundred dollars in the past week we are down thirty eight thousand dollars in the past month we are down twenty thousand dollars in the past three months we are up two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars in the past year we are up seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars and of all time we are up seven hundred eighty eight thousand dollars so you might be wondering hey pro why is this little thing right there that says margin maintenance line well basically and it says account def def deficit right basically what that means is i don't have enough money in here 
to pay for the monthly five dollar gold member fee or whatever that robin hood requires me to do so i just recently put in like another 15 20 dollars that should last me another few months to be able to pay so that's the only reason why that's there i've already paid back my margin i've already paid back all my credit cards and all the money that i borrowed so yeah just wanted to clarify that so um how my doge doge doing today uh we're at 23 cents right now in the past hour we reached the high of uh, almost 24 and now we're back down today we've been pretty much just you know 23 all day for the most part in the past week pretty much the same thing i feel like we're gearing up for something big uh, a few weeks ago our lowest was 19 and if you look at a few like months before that we were down at 16 so the lowest point here was like 16 17 lowest point here was 19 so we're seeing like a bull flag emerge within a bull flag and this is going to continue to uptrend hopefully and uh, you know we might have another blowout another crazy parabolic move like we did back in may very soon and i'm bullish on that and um there have been a few articles out kind of supporting that idea but yeah so uh in case you don't know my position is 3.9 million doge coins i haven't sold a single one yet my equity is at nine hundred twenty-two thousand dollars. my average cost basis per coin is 4.7 cents my portfolio diversity is at 100 percent because everything i have is in dogecoin completely um on my robin hood total return is seven hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars, and today's return we're actually down seven point seven thousand dollars so uh yep that's where we're at today um you know we might have uh i have a feeling we're gonna go up tomorrow though so we'll see what happens but um but yeah guys so uh if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my future videos also do not forget that i am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice make sure you do your own due diligence and your own research before you invest any money in crypto or any money in the stock market and um yeah this is purely for entertainment guys so i will catch you guys on the next video peace hey, yo, bro, where's those go? Scott,